Journey to the Seventh Planet is a 1962 Danish-American science fiction film. It was directed by Sid Pink. The film was shot in Denmark with a budget of only $75,000. Uranus, the seventh planet in the solar system, has not been charted by the United Nations space fleet. Therefore, in 2001, an international crew has been dispatched to Uranus by the United Nations, which has become a world government on a space exploration mission. The film's ideas of astronauts exploring outer space only to confront their inner mindscapes and memories precede the similar-themed 1972 film Solaris by a full decade. Although the novel Solaris was published a year prior to this film. The film is also reminiscent of Ray Bradbury's 1948 short story Mars is Heaven. In the year 2001, while an international five-man team is on their way to Uranus, an alien presence briefly assumes control of the crew's minds. They awaken safely, but notice that a long and unexplained period of time has passed. Upon landing, the crew finds a forested land oddly like Earth's, rather than the cold, bleak world they were expecting. This forest is surrounded by a mysterious barrier. One of the crew pushes his arm through the barrier, only to have it frozen. New features and forms begin to appear each time they are imagined by the crew. A familiar looking village appears. Complete with attractive women, the various male crew members have known in the past. Soon they must face a series of strange beasts, including a giant, bipedal cyclopean rodent and a lobster-like insect. The crew realizes that they have been the victims of mind control by a gigantic one-eyed brain living in a cave. There they are confronted by the being whose mysterious brain cuts to the inner thoughts of the explorers and causes their thoughts to appear as seemingly real. The brain being plans to possess the astronauts' bodies and have them take it with them back to Earth where it will implement a plan for global domination. The crew gradually come to realize their peril and start to fight back against the presence, even eliciting aid from the sympathetic women. They must then confront the being in its lair while it assaults each with monsters spawned from their fears. So check out this sci-fi classic on DVD, Blu-ray or streaming, and I'll see you in the next exciting video.